Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how you can add a normal map and a little bit of roughness to your decals. So if you want to make blood or something, or anything like that, or you know, have some sort of cool look <laughs> to your decals, this is how you do it. So, let's jump straight in. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have a blood decal, or any decal that you want, ready to go. Next, you're going to want to head to Normal Map Online. It's a cool website I found, it lets you make normal maps really quickly and it works fantastic. Uh, it supports transparency as well for the normal maps which is ideal and exactly what I was looking for so it works fantastic. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description below. It's a fantastic website. I'm going to be using this from now on. So you just want to add your uh, PNG image or whatever image you are using and then you just want to tweak uh, the settings, get it all sort of you know how you want it to look. Uh, a good thing to do is to change the sharpness if you go over things like blood you want to change the sharpness uh, and blur on the normal map. Uh, sorry, the, just the sharpness I think it is actually. But once you've figured all that out and you've, and you've got sort of the normal map how you want and you've changed the displacement so it's nice and flat, then yeah, you just uh, you press download and it'll download uh, your normal map. So you just want to jump back over into Godot. You want to add your um, decal main picture, like your actual color image, but not the normal map or anything, uh, into your albed albedo slot. And if we just test that out now just with the albedo, you'll see that it doesn't look very nice. It just looks pretty plain, pretty flat. Um, so now we're going to add the normal map. So you just want to drag your normal map into the normal slot in your decal. Uh, and then as you can see, it looks a little bit nicer, a uh, little bit more bumps to it and stuff. Obviously, uh, the clip I showed at the beginning of the video, that's the actual blood that, I'm, uh, that I've made. Uh, the one for... That I'm going to be that I'm showing now is just basically the tutorial one. So I didn't tweak the uh, sharpness in that one. That's why it's very sharp uh, bumps and stuff. But yeah, it looks great. But now if you want to add a little bit of uh, you know a bit of wetness to it, now I couldn't figure out how to make a roughness texture using that material uh, that that website because I'm not exactly an expert on PB texture and I barely even know what I'm doing to be honest. I've only just about sort of learned normal mapping and height mapping, but uh, or displacement mapping. But yeah. So all I do, or what I figured out to do, I just dropped the albedo texture, just the color, uh, the main picture, and I just dropped that into the roughness, and it worked great. So as you can see, it reacts to light, it looks a bit wetter, it looks fantastic. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys, and I really hope that you know I helped you a little bit, because um, I think the main thing of this video is just showing you a way to make uh, PBR textures with transparency easily <laughs> basically the, the way to create your normal, normal maps with transparency that's the only thing I, I struggle to figure out how to do but I hope this helps somebody out there so I really appreciate uh, a subscribe if I did help you out and maybe you know drop a comment or something and uh, yeah peace out guys